33 shots rang out in a Sunset Park subway station on Tuesday, rattling New York City to its core. 62-year-old Frank James was charged with shooting 10 commuters and injuring 30. It's not something that we see in Sunset, or we don't have any problems like that in Sunset. Yeah, we have like here and there like altercations, but nothing serious with bombs or anything. So it's very frustrating and over, overall nerve-wracking because a lot of us were put at risk. On Wednesday afternoon, James was arrested on St. Mark's Place in the East Village, calling authorities to turn himself in. I was clearly upset and scared, but I didn't feel like the incident would hit so close to home. Here where the attack happened on the Manhattan-bound platform at 36th Street, New Yorkers have begun to return to the subway station. Although there's an increased presence of police, some New Yorkers feel this is part of a bigger issue of subway safety within the city. I, I, didn't, I don't feel safe taking the subway after, and I haven't felt safe even before. It's like the veins of the city. Like, I feel like if there's no mode of transportation, like, how are you going to get around? I felt like a little unsafe, but not like I couldn't defend myself. Now I feel like, can I defend myself? According to data from NYPD, shooting incidents have risen 14% in the new year. New Yorkers took to social media to process their anxieties after the mass shooting. It's just not safe anymore. Like, you have to be aware at all times of your surroundings. James made his first appearance in federal court Thursday morning after being charged with committing a terrorist attack on a mass transportation system. His ammunition was stockpiled in a Philadelphia storage unit. YouTube clips of James referring to himself as the prophet of doom have surfaced, leading lawyers to require a psychiatric evaluation. He is being held without bail and, if convicted, faces life in prison. I'm Maggie Geiler for Pavement Pieces.